good day and it's a one of the most important reasons to go live um because first of all let me tell you this one i'm going to get back on my um podcast again now that i'm going to have a little bit more freedom with me retiring from the gym you know what i mean cheers to that but i'm gonna get into it i'm not trying to hold nobody up i'm trying to make this um shut the fuck up <laughs> i want to try to make this as fast as possible one if you've seen what this is about if you see the picture that i posted for this that is me and my oldest son my first son when I was in prison when I was 22 years old and I did two years okay so when I say that I am an ex-convict I'm an ex-convict from from juvenile until I did my prison when I was 22 years old I did 22 to 24 got two two and a half three years in as a juvenile as well so this is where the no excuse I don't I don't give a fuck what you've been through and what you've done You're, there's no excuse for you not to change you are the only one that's holding you back from changing period there's nobody else what made me want to shoot this video I was very very scared um, I doubted myself um, I didn't think the government was gonna let me um, do this because I was a convict and blah 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 and I had felonies and all this all these excuses we make as ex-cons or um, I guess people being from the hood uh, the government's not gonna do this the man this the man that listen man I'm telling you right now that they have nothing to do with they're doing their job bro period i'm from where you're from and when you're in that area and you're from them areas and so my bad i don't know what happened why it cut off in the middle of me getting into this but so listen my whole point behind this and what i'm showing you it's not to Actually, it is the brag. Matter of fact, I, I've earned I earned the right to brag. So again, I am a licensed insurance agent. This isn't me passing the test and then trying to be. I am licensed, period. State of Ohio. I got all five of my felonies expunged. Done. I am not a convict no more. You can't. You, you people who want to hold this shit over people's heads, you can't hold that over my head no more. Period. It's, it's over with. Not that I gave a fuck to begin with that you did, but it don't matter. So let me tell you what I've done since then. I opened a business, a, a sick, very successful gym. I've saved thousands upon thousands of people's lives, teaching them how to become a fit and healthier person not only teaching them how to work out correctly but also teaching them how to eat so making them healthy from the inside out saving lives okay thousands of them then I've created other business owners people who have came to my gym to my facility who I have trained who I have employed and then they branched off and opened their own things so not only have I saved people's lives and changed people's lives by fit being fit and healthy in my position and in my facility but I've also gave people the motivation and determination to go open their own spots saving even more lives you are welcome then I have started a record company with my son who was very 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 successful in music we own that company together that's two companies right now that are doing very very good um I own a food truck trailer 
vegan street food trailer this should be streaming live on there that will be open very soon you seen me drive back with it um we're just waiting on the health department to you already know how they are we ain't even gonna get into that we don't even need to give them no credit right now um sold my gym and is now endeavoring in a new business that i'm bringing to toledo my point behind all of this is you are the only one holding you back you are the only one holding you back so if you are not a person who is an ex-con With excuses that you can't make it and you can't shake whatever fucking monkey is on your you are the only one that is holding you back because of your perspective your environment the way that you think what you are putting into your brain is affecting how you are seeing the world, how you are speaking about the world, and how you are participating in the world. You need to change that. You need to change your fucking environment. You need to get some of them people out of your life. You need to get that husband or boyfriend out of your life holding you back. Your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your friends, your co-workers, whoever the fuck it is that has you thinking in the way you stuck you got to get rid of them you got to get rid of them people that doesn't mean that you don't love them that doesn't mean that you don't care about them they're just holding you back they're keeping you playing the victim of why you are stuck and where you are today and where you are right now because there is no fucking excuse you can't tell me no excuse I'm not going to go into from birth until where I'm at today, but we will get into that. I'm going to post a link to the my, um, my podcast that I'm going to start doing, and I'm going to start from 1978 again all the way up until today because the story and the background and what I've been through from then until now, I mean, everybody has their story, but my story is fucked up. And that's why I've never accepted excuses of from anyone in the gym and in life. And I don't expect them from my kids and I don't expect them from my wife. It's, it is what it is. There is no excuse. I don't give a fuck what you've been through. But to my ex-convicts and to my people that are in the street and to my people that are in the hood, you can get out. You can do something different. Stop blaming the government and stop blaming the police. Get the fuck out of where you're at. Start doing what the fuck you're supposed to do. Change your perspective. Get, in, get into a business. If you need help, I got you. I'm not about to sell you no fucking coaching thing. If you need help, I got you. But don't waste my fucking time. Period. I got you though. You need some help, I got you. You want to get some shit expunged, I got you. I got a lawyer for you. I don't, that ain't my money. I got a lawyer for you that'll get your shit expunged. Get your shit expunged, go get you a license, study for something. Do something that's going to make you some money instead of working at a fucking factory job, slaving for somebody else that's, you're making them millionaires. Start your own fucking business. Get your, get your insurance license. Get some kind of license, start your own business, man. Stop making other people rich, for real, for real. So inbox me, get a hold of me somehow, whatever. I got you, I'll help you, I promise you, that's... I mean, God put me on this earth to help you. And, and I'm going to give you my story to try to help you. So, again, you'll be seeing it soon. I'll post my um, link to the podcast. I'm going to start shooting this weekend. And, um, I mean, there will just be little five-minute, you know, talks here and there from 1978 until 2022 when I got this here. Bam! Oh, shit. All right. Have a good night.